Hello and welcome to Tech Tuesday. Um, this week we have a special guest. Say hi, Jordan. Hi. We are doing a at-home heat molding. So right now I have my convection oven. It is a skate oven. It is 175, and that's why most times your home oven is not applicable to do heat molding. This is why you're going to go to your skate technician. This is why you're going to go to your skate shop. This is a very specific, it's a small sized oven. It keeps it very tight at 175 and it is a convection. So it's not just turn on your bake oven and bake your skates. It's not easy to bake skates. So this is a convection 175. All right, so I have them in. They've been in about, uh, this is a, is, a, is a smaller model as well. It's in the 2000 series, it's a debut. So it's been in about five minutes. And I live in Florida, so when the temperature's warm, they warm up a little faster. So first things, make sure you get your insoles out. Poron, which is a great impact resistant material, also under heat can shrink and morph. And if you've ever seen an insole that looks kind of like that, or if the edges are rolled in, it's usually that it's been affected by heat. So we're gonna do, just to show, got your heel cup all the way in there. You can see just a slight bit of room right in the front. Uh, we've just outgrown skates, haven't we? Yeah. How tight were your, or your toes? Squished under, no good. All right, let me go get the skates. I'll be right back. So you're gonna work pretty quick here when they come out of the oven. These are three and a half regulars. First thing I do, I put in the insole. I make sure down inside that there's no curl, no check. I'm feeling around. I want to make sure there's nothing that's that's curled over. Warm skates are fun, aren't they? Yeah. Even though we live in Florida, it's warm skates are good. All right, let's slip our foot in. Now, right when I slip in, see how I can kind of get my finger behind your heel? I'm gonna slip it back off. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some opening to the heel cup, give it a little space. I'm gonna do it to both of them, because we're gonna go both at the same time here. If this is new to you, I would start one at a time. I've done a few heat moldings, and so, oops, sorry, I got your lace in there. All right, first thing first, you're gonna ask the skater to push down their heel. I'm gonna work it around, and when they're warm, these sides are dilly. It moved a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. There you go, and we're gonna do it on that side. Now, the next part, I'm gonna use my hands, covering under the bottom, and start to shape it around the foot. I wanna start to get it to wrap. I'm engaging the serline material on the inside and getting it to fold in and around the skater. And this is before I'm tying it up. I'm like pre-shaping it. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cup the back. I'm gonna use my hands and slightly massage and get it to shape in and around the heel to hold it in place. You can also touch on the Achilles. You have a nice shape on yours, so I'm just making sure that you're not gonna have any slip up and down on that. All right, how do the toes feel? Good. All right, you wanna stand up real quick? Any sore spots, anything? No. Okay, have a seat. I do like to do, um, just also do a slight mold around the foot. You can feel, you want to feel the boot come to the foot. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh at this point because they're so soft and malleable. So get the majority of your slack out at the top, right up here, and then go back down to the toes. I give a good snug pull, but I don't want to pull so that the foot falls asleep. I'm also pulling out. Notice how I'm pulling out. See that pushes and takes its opposite side and pulls it across and gives it a nice shape. Always pull out and then lift up, and that helps lock it in place. As you're going up the foot, pull away some of that slack, then go back to where you were at, and add a little to get into it. We've done these a few times, haven't we, Jordan? Yeah. Always feels like a little bit of a foot massage, doesn't it? Yep. And see how if I've pulled out and I'm, and I'm locking down, actually, I'm gonna shape the boot around her foot. Feel I'm pushing it to your foot. Do you feel it coming to you? Feel it coming toward your foot? Oh, yeah. Awesome. So what's your favorite skating element, Jordan? Me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You don't have a favorite? No. You like spinning or jumping more? Jumping. Jumping. Yeah. Now I've got it all tied up to the top, a decent knot. I'm gonna keep the skater seated, put it on the ground, keep folding it around. See a little space there, so I'm actually gonna redo the top here. I'm looking to make it C-shape, kind of U-shape around her 
her ankle. Always do a little tap tap, make sure that heel's back. Pull up my majority slack again. Start at the bottom. Shaping the foot. Have you ever met any famous skaters? Um, Don't you train with famous people? Yeah. Yeah. Is she a sweeter? Yeah, she's doing it. She's still here or she's yeah. gone back? No, she's still here. Awesome. Kevin went first, so. Kevin went first. Yeah. I like Kevin. Yeah. All right. So this one, every foot's a little different. So sometimes you'll shape them a little differently. See how I'm pulling that one in a little bit more? How's that feel? You don't want to see any giant gapping on the side. So with this boot, just the way the foot is and how the boot is built and everything in it, I'm going to shape it in a little bit more than I would otherwise. You see how I'm working the tongue back to the foot? I don't want any large gaps. That sometimes this can be the heat moldable um, Catch-22 where it's tighter than you would probably skate in it, but you want to shape the boot as it's going to be broken in for you. And so with a stiff new tongue, it's popped out. So you got to push the tongue in around, and that's the mistake I made over here that I, I did it better this time, didn't I? Yeah. See, I can barely get my, my finger down in, in the front. It's a good shape. Good heel. Do you feel any spaces anywhere? No? Okay. All right, now the fun part. Wait, you usually get an iPad, you got your gaming device. Are you playing Minecraft? No, I never have. Never? My kids have fallen in love with it. Um, yeah, you can watch videos, your favorite skating videos, do technique uh, training. Um, this is usually a point where you're going to wait at least 10 minutes. Let them fully cool down to the touch. One of the things I can't show right now, just because she got them on her feet, is the fact that when you're done lacing them back up, you know, as if your foot was in them, and leave them that way to cure the rest of the day. Do not skate on them for one day. Give them that time to relax. Materials have a recovery period just like you do as a skater. So give them the time to know your shape and your fit. All right, good luck. See you next Tech Tuesday.